Walter Latham. Comedy. Rosa, you were dating Tiger Woods, right? Um, while, he, no, while he was married, okay. you were that person, or one of the many people. How would you have handled that situation? Uh, I don't think I could even be in a situation like that. I, I don't think I can do that. So okay. I would have loved to be like this niche. Well, so probably the wife, she didn't even know. And this is what I mean. Was. She said she couldn't be in that situation, and this is the very reason I do not golf. Because <laughs> if she's not willing to do nothing like that, I'm not willing to be in that situation either. I'm not a golfer. What you want to do? <laughs> well, I, I will be, I will be Tiger Woods. You, but I couldn't be one of the girls. I know. I'm talking about you know? me and you personally. Hmm. Don't worry about that. Uh, we this can, comedy up to dark. Well, we in Miami. We can go grab mm -hmm. some Spanish food. Yeah. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. And we can make a song. I got the perfect song. Guess mm -hmm. what? What's the name of it? Black and Yellow. Tree. Black and Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> why, let me ask you this. Why do you think ladies forgive guys for cheating more so than guys can forgive ladies? Well, personally, I don't forgive. <laughs> and I think women are just emotional, so we have bigger hearts. Guys have egos, so you don't want to forgive your girl to know she was boning another guy. But as a woman, you feel like, oh, it's just sex, you'll get over it, and you keep it moving. Me, there's no forgiving. Right. It's out the door, it's done. First time. Yeah, first time, done. So, be careful. <laughs> what about you, what, what about you Carolyn? Wow. I don't know, I think it depends. I can say oh, no, because if I'm in you love, you never Why know would what you happened. forgive? If you're in love, he would never cheat on you. Right. I know, but I'm in love. Well, Maybe I, he wasn't in love. You know, like, <laughs> hey, I don't know. I it's, get, a, it's confusing. I would get out of love very I, I fast. Don't, <laughs> I don't worry about any of that. In my, I start off with tramps. So <laughs> I can just get right to the pain, and then everything <laughs> after that is nothing but gravy, baby. When you love a tramp at the beginning, the ending couldn't be as bad. <laughs> what about you, Mike? You know, like she said, emotional. Women are more emotional. So, um, you know, men, women got, they should forgive us more. The reason you can forgive us more because men, I mean, biblically, we could have four or five wives. You know, so women well, like, should. Like, like, like his in religion. your Bible. Right, we're the last yeah. man yeah. to have a Hold up, man. No, no. That's okay. not. Okay. Yeah, he quoting from the Bible. Look, I was right. in Saudi Arabia. They, they got four or five wives. This is so. not Saudi Arabia, Exactly. Baby. It's the United States. Yeah. Right? Well, there are some. There are some. <laughs> right. <laughs> we, could, we could sleep with a woman and mean nothing to us. That's why they're okay yeah. to forgive us, because it won't mean nothing. So why, so why, let me ask you this. Why do you think. Michael. Yes. Kobe Bryant got caught a couple of years ago, a few years ago. Why? The wife stood by him. Mm -hmm. Why did he do it again? Uh, because hmm. he hopes he's hoping he can get away with it this can time. I Oh. It was. I, I mean, he did. He did till she had investigated follow him around. Why did he do it she again? Didn't leave or why the first did he get time, caught that's again? Why. That's the question. Point blank. I think it's an addiction mm -hmm. in a man. That when they do it once, Kobe forget about that. it. They keep doing it. Yeah. That was not. I think so. when you let them slide the first time, they're gonna keep doing it over and over again. Right. What makes you think it's gonna stop? So you don't think guys can say, you know what? Of course I, I made not. A mistake. Yeah, you made a mistake, but. Because you were forgiven, mm -hmm. you make the same mistake again. Then if you make it again, then what are you going to say? What's the excuse the second time? What if you What if you were in a relationship with a guy mm -hmm. that you really loved? Great mm -hmm. relationship. Everything's going good. I was. Uh -huh. And then he did it one time. Mm -hmm. You're going to miss out on what could be possibly a because great of that No, one you know why? Because I was in a relationship with a guy, and he cheated one time, and I left. And you got with somebody else, and you did the same exact thing to her. And that's because she didn't leave you the very first time. And now that's just her loss, not me. My happiness. Okay, bye. <laughs> and it's that's your loss. Girl, you got to get Done. on with things. Like I remember uh, about two years ago, I ate a piece of, a piece of chicken that wasn't all the way, mm -hmm. it wasn't cooked all the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but let me tell you, the other day mm -hmm. I just went to Popeyes. <laughs> You'll get over it. It's so romantic. Listen, yeah. even Jesus, <laughs> Jesus forgave us. Yeah. Jesus got murdered. Them niggas killed him. And he said, forgive them. Yeah, <laughs> he let him go. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm very religious. I'm not Jesus, I'm a thing sorry. My name me? is Rosa. Yeah. Yeah, Rosa. I'm not Jesus. My name is Rosa. So you don't agree with it either? You don't agree with forgiveness? 
Uh, not in the case of cheating. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm dating an adult that knows oh what they have to do, yeah. I mean, there are certain things right. that you might not know about myself. So if you made a little mistake with me in the relationship of something that, you know, you but what's cheating? Let's can we clarify that? The world would be a better place, like I said, if but everybody about dated sex, a child. Going well, on a date honestly, 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 I think all the men they cheat. I'm sorry. I haven't seen not even one that he doesn't cheat. I agree. I've never cheated. Wow. I agree. All men do cheat. All men do cheat. Never never cheat. All men do cheat then what are y'all going to do? You know what it is? Well, Just don't get caught because if you get caught, it's done. It's, okay. it's done. It's it. I'm not going to chase you around and follow no, to see if you cheat. No, I never had but a... just don't get caught. You don't better be, be good. Don't be a cheater they that gets caught. Because I'm better. Exactly. But they, right. I'm they better. I'm better what cheater? No, I'm better. If you cheat, I'm going to find out. So can I tell you I cheated, but don't trip off of it because you don't know about it? <laughs> like, uh, that you know, sounds like no. me being a tramp. That's the, all I want to get all right, across. All right, let's move on real quick. Rapping. <laughs> Darylina. What? How old do you think Jay Z would be before he retires? Because he's 40 now. How old is he now? He's over 40. How old I don't he? think he's going to retire. You think he'll I rap think he's going to keep 50? doing. You think yeah. He'll rap? At 50? I don't know. I don't think so. I think he I enjoys. I honestly don't does. think it's the age for music. I just think it's timeless. I, Jay is an incredible artist, of yeah. course, and he's at the point of his career. He don't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. I think now he's he at just, a place he does it because he loves it. It's not exactly. about selling records. Right. Exactly. It's not about you know. Is he love his fans? It's just really about it because he exactly. loved the game. It's what he loves. But if you're if you're rapping and you catering mostly to younger people, right, like mm -hmm. Rosa? Do you think at some point? What age is the point where young kids will not accept you anymore? Because it's like, wait a minute, this guy's 49, 48. Well, I don't, I don't think it's a matter of the way he looks or if he looks old or if he is in fact older. What the I think. Well, you can. There is nothing sexy about a 50 year old man doing this. Okay, at the club. There's nothing <laughs> sexy Jay about dress like a 50 that. year old Jay man in the club doing this. What is cute about this 50 year old? Well, he doesn't even look cute on you and you. He's Jay Z. Okay, he's Jay Z. There's nothing cute about, about this. <laughs> when you got Jay Z money, exactly. I, if I had that money, I would give a damn. I would make an album and go buy all of them. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> I'd go gold every damn time. It'd be like, damn, he's still selling albums. Yep, yeah, to me. Hey, if you got the money, why not? Ah, so yeah. let's talk about money. Huh. Give me a, I'm going to ask you a number. I'm going to start with Trina. Give me a number. That you think it takes to say, you know what, I'm straight. Ooh. What what amount is that? There, there, it doesn't have to be personal. Just give me like the first number to come to mind. I, I don't know. I just think you could never get enough money. I don't. I just feel like money is everlasting. You just need to make as much as you possibly can until it just run out. Like as as many zeros as possible. It's no it's no amount. Right. No amount. Not I think it's as much as as you have. You want more and more and yeah, more. Yeah, of course. So, Never just, zero. It ain't never been about money. I just wish the world wouldn't charge me for shit. If you don't, <laughs> if I can get whatever the hell I want, just walk in there and get it, I don't need no damn money. I just want to be able to say, I want that right there. I want her. I want that. I want her. I want her and her. And that. Really? I want all of the others. <laughs> but I agree Sorry. with Trina. I don't think uh, there is a, a magic number no where matter. you made that and then you feel like you saved. Uh, the only thing that makes you safe is being able to keep making money. And keep able to. But uh, having an amount of money and not making anything else ever again, that doesn't work for me. I, I mean, the fact that I'm making a little bit every day, that more. keeps me more safe. More. As long as you can do the same. I want to have so much money that I want to hire niggas to sleep for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be able to do shit. I want, I don't, I want my food to shit for me. He better watch what I eat and shit what I shit. He shit something else. I'm gonna oh write him gosh. the fuck up. I'm telling you right now. That's, I mean, that is impossible money. I want my poo to be like this. It's gonna cost a lot to heat that bitch, but I don't give a damn. Money never stops. I'm from yeah, Africa. We work no, every day, right. mother yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> You make it till you die. And you all are awfully angry. Well, I mean, I'm gonna throw, right? <laughs> throw out two words talking about money. Which one is more important? Peace or money? Wait a minute, a piece of what? Peace. Oh, okay. <laughs> peace. Peace, peace or peace money? Peace. Uh, happiness. Peace. Which one is more important? Would you give away your money? See, and money makes me happy, man. I, have to, I just really believe that money, I, some kind of way, maybe I'm stupid, but I'm 
pretty damn sure that the right amount of money will make me just as peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> but I doubt if peace could. I, I don't believe in choosing things, especially when they don't have one thing to do with the other. I believe in having a little bit of everything, so. Okay. All right, well, I'm I put $10,000 on stop. the table and an you. apple. Let me, let me ask this. I'm going to just throw this out. You don't think one has anything to do with the other? Michael well, Jackson. In the, in the fact of what, what I mean is, that's like when people say like love or money, like which one you choose. I don't have to choose. I can have everything. Sorry. Okay. My yeah. bad. Okay. But you don't think you lose some peace, anonymity, comfort in life when you start getting famous and making a lot of money? Even that's not even famous. That's true, if but you, there is no peace without money. Like you can't sleep peacefully, you can't live peacefully, you can't do you. absolutely anything peacefully without money. Thank Try you. living in peace with no money. You can't pay your bills, right. you can't yeah. do absolutely nothing. Right. We need the money. Sorry, you money. There's nothing you can get a about peace once the money comes. <laughs> much money roll in, much peace. You're as peaceful as you need to be. That's right. To go telling. peacefully on now. I'm just, <laughs> hey. De definitely, if you don't have money, how are you going to be in peace? How are you right. going to pay your rent? How are you going to eat? You're going to be worried about, oh my gosh, what, you know, how I'm going to get money to pay my bills tomorrow, whatever. And this, so. once again, why it's so important <laughs> to be involved with a tramp. Because tramps, uh, some kind of way, find a way to make things so much more peaceful. <laughs> mm. Vacation. What's your favorite vacation spot? I would say, ooh, so many. Um, the islands. Does, does it have to be a specific? Yeah, just. Ooh. When you say islands, you're talking about Caribbean? Like Bahamas? Yeah, I mean, everywhere. Like the Bahamas, Bora Bora, like Mexico, DR. Like everywhere there's just water. Yeah. And it's just good food. And you don't have to do nothing. No driving. <laughs> just lay back, lay tan, and just peaceful. Like, I mean, just have fun, I think, the islands to me. Uh, first, I will say DR, Punta Cana. It's one of my favorite places. And then... Uh, and then I've been in Bahamas in the Blue Lagoon, which I yes. really love. Jamaica, I love it too. Everywhere. Bumble right? Club. Yeah. I, I, actually, <laughs> I actually like, uh, you believe it or not, it's whatever. I like, I love South Beach and uh, West Palm Beach. It's just, uh, you know, just anything it with a keeps beach. Me with a, it keeps me here, so I'm still connected. That, that's, is that a vacation? He said vacation. Uh, vacation? That's, that's, a, that's it's ghetto a, vacation. It's a, it's oh, a okay. vacation. For, you only as good because I still love the people that I, I know, like Americans, and I like to communicate, and I like, you know, I like what I like. I don't have to go somewhere and pretend mm. that my ass like uh, all that jerk chicken. How about you? <laughs> I agree with the ladies. I, um, the islands. Islands and, like, my, my little island, Dominican Republic. I really like that place, and I love the weather. I love the water and I love the people and the food. What makes Miami like a cool spot? South Beach? Shit, man. Africa, man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm back home. <laughs> no, but I believe in going Sometimes, like she's from here, so it's right, like you gotta go somewhere that. opposite. It's like, wow. I feel like I feel like you gotta, that's you know, why. sometimes you gotta go complete opposite. If you live in a cold weather, you wanna go to warm weather. If you live in a warm weather, you wanna try something else. Go to Alaska. Everywhere. You want something you know, different. I've, I've yeah. traveled the world, man. I was one of my favorite places I went was the Middle East. Believe it or not. You gotta go to DR. I've been to DR, but it was just in the airport. I was in the airport for like three yeah, hours, really and I no, fell in love. All the women look like count. this. It doesn't count. The airport. It doesn't. The airport doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah, they leave the airport. Mike, what, do you but think, I, what do you think makes Miami a good spot to film comedy at the door? Ah, shit. You guarantee a beautiful weather, beautiful women, beautiful crowd, beautiful. When, when the weather's nice, people are so much nicer. Yeah. You know, you've been to Philly yeah. and New York, they all look like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look just like the damn weather. The weather. Stressed you know, and cold. So right? it's, you know, what Miami. Do you think, uh, I was going to ask Rose, but what do you, why do you think it's a good spot to film? Uh, I that, think, that show, this particular show. I think people made it special. There is like a little bit of everything in Miami, so it it makes it special for all the comedians. For whatever they from, they're gonna have a kind of like a little fan base here. So yeah. I think that makes it really special. Yeah. What about you, Trin? You're from here. It's a beautiful city. The weather is great. Great people. A lot of great energy. People have a lot of sense of humor. They like to laugh and have fun. I think that's what makes it a great place to actually film comedy. There's a lot of a lot going on. Yeah, it's a, a melting pot. It's a little bit everybody. It's a multicultural dawn. city, so everybody loves comedians. They love to laugh. They love to have fun. And, and it goes down and after dark. And people right is here. crazy. What, what made you? I may have asked you this yesterday, so I want to ask you. Ask Trino. 
What made you interested in being a host of a comedy show? Because I, I don't assume you did it before. Did you ever do it? No, I, I never, ever. Um, I don't know. I, I love comedy. Honestly, I like. there's a side of me that's just real goofy. When I'm not performing, when I'm not really serious in my serious mode, I like to have fun. I laugh with my friends. I go to a lot of comedy shows. So I just thought it would be interesting. I wanted to see what the comedians were going to bring, and I just wanted to laugh. How about you, right? Um, well, I think I am a, like a natural comedian, and by this I just mean that because I have an accent, everything I say sounds funny. Sometimes I'm not even really joking, and people laugh, and I'm like, it was not a joke, I actually <laughs> really mean that. Right. <laughs> um, so, I really wanted to, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy uh, the show, and like Trina, I can't wait to see what the comedians are bringing, you know, new stuff and new jokes and... New energy, like we're gonna put this thing on yeah, Like map. a new style. <laughs> they you always know? think that uh, pretty girls don't have that sense of humor. It's right. No, no, she's, 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 she's naturally funny. She has she a cracking up. And your, and your accent too, just so... Trina is really <laughs> uh, a nutball. <laughs> Y'all sleeping on Trina. No, nah, Trina... Right. No, I'm, 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 I just like to laugh. I just like fun. I'm just funny. This is beautiful. What's wrong with you, Mike? You got I'm trying to find a wife. <laughs> oh, really? He's I'll be trying faithful to find when I, when I get married. Who? No, no, I'm very relaxed. Whatever he's he's trying to find when one I more. Pull God, when I pull God in there, I'm 100% He's trying to find faithful. one more. Because right. you have already one seven one yeah. right. down in Africa. This is a, I'm going to ask you guys, too. I don't want to hear what your answer is, but I'm going to ask the girls first. If you knew for a fact, there was no question. The only thing you had to do was do a sex tape with the guy you're dating. And you would be super famous and rich within a year. Would you do it? I, 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 I just don't want nobody seeing the way I moan. Like something <laughs> private, you know. I already show a lot, a lot of skin and you stuff. You see what? That's what I'm saying. How do you moan? Right. You don't want nobody to know. Can, can I hear? Are you no, super, super private. rich right now? Are you super rich? That may be the one thing holding you back. <laughs> no, <laughs> Time to get your so. moan on. I don't think so. Look what happened. It's not worth it. Right? It's not worth it. You asked me that yesterday morning. Yeah. You are, I did? <laughs> so, yeah. Me? I will, I will never. No, because I'm, I'm just real, real sensual and freaky and sexy, and I definitely don't want to share it with the world. I'd rather keep it private. It's a private thing. Everybody don't deserve to see it. And I don't right. think just that one year, getting rich, how rich? We talk about yeah. <laughs> That's what I would need well, to know. I mean, Kim like. Kim Kardashian, right? I mean, a lot of people forget this, but that's what started. But it didn't, it didn't take her just one year, you know? No, it, I mean, no, it but, took but, 10 but, minutes on tape. No, but, no, but, but it comes started. with a lot of no. it, it comes with a lot of hangups, and it comes right. with like it's a it's a certain thing, a part of it you want to like erase, regardless if you became rich. Like you want to you want it yeah. to disappear. It's never gonna disappear. I'm pretty sure she so. wonders if she would have. She thinks I'm pretty sure she thinks she will be as successful without the sex tape. Maybe mm -hmm. you guys don't think so, but she she probably thinks right. so. I think she would be. Of course, she's mm -hmm. a very right. beautiful woman. She's yeah. very smart. Right. She's a very hard worker. It's just the miss. Now, I wouldn't do a sex tape, but I will totally direct one. I mean, <laughs> ladies, I would too. Ladies, we should do it together. If you're gonna do a sex tape, well, just be in make it, it <laughs> please, make it sexy, sexy good, and nice, I mean, intimate, think juicy. Think about Cirque du Soleil. You know, like yeah. you wanna Stretch, do it like, while you do all her. your whatever sexual stuff. You wanna be like. Maneuvering all kinds of balls yeah. and <laughs> ah, yeah, spitting yeah, yeah. fire. I mean, you want to do it like I extreme. I, I, I totally fine. agree. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. You not to yeah. And then, like, a little midget comes and handle you the condoms, <laughs> and then an <laughs> elephant in the background. Me. Like, come on, yeah. something. Yeah. Give me something new. Yeah, uh, yeah that sounds like a money maker. <laughs> <laughs> Let, Michael, let's do it. Yeah, let's do Darius. the budget together. Right. <laughs> if you were dating Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. fine, famous, rich. And you walk into a room where your homeboys were, and they were watching the sex tape on the computer. Hmm. Right? What would you do? The sex tape of who? Of, of, of your her lady? And, her and uh, the dude she was with. Her and the dude? The dude that she made the sex tape with. You with her now. Say right. his name. <laughs> I didn't want to say his name. No, you got it. <laughs> you know, to be it. honest. What would you say? Don't like. All your fellas, I'll, they watch it. They now, watch. Is she your girl now? She my girl. Uh, look here. Hmm. You, know, you asked the wrong person because uh, <laughs> this has actually happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't give a damn about none of that. That don't matter to me. Nothing. I done made so many sex tapes that ain't got me no damn where. <laughs> if you could give me a piece of paper that say next year, this particular one person that's going to use my body for the last damn time, going to make me rich, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Does your okay, body but, look no, good? But the question is, you, you're, you're dating the girl. I'm dating She's the girl. girl. Who did the sex tape. Right. With another guy. Oh. Well, with you. But it was before him, so it's he can't worry you. about exactly. that. It was before, before you. Yeah. But, but, they, but listen, y'all have yeah. a question. You're dating, let's say you're dating Kim Kardashian, right? right? Mm -hmm. You walk into a room, all your homeboys are there. And they looking at And they looking at her and being in me. How would I feel day. about How that? How would you feel about that? Hmm. Well, uh, well, at the moment, you know, man ego will kick in. I might just walk in and say, ain't the bitch cold? I told you. Then I tell you the bitch cold. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. What I would do? I'm I would do my pride is taken. They see him a girl. What? You know, that's what she got famous for. You know, I'm oh, just sucking on. my pride. Oh, and I, I'm just sucking my pride. I'm going to go back in my 10 million dollar house and yeah, shut the fuck whatever. up. Yeah, whatever. That's it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know what it wouldn't bother honest. me. But what happened before me? Just because I, I don't think other people said I don't, think I I don't care truly about fall in love with her. her. It's going to probably take a while Why? because of what she did. I what? don't care nothing people about before me. People have sex every day. That's not a big yeah, deal. Sex but, is what happens. Yeah, but, but we don't know about it. Yeah, but I mean, that shouldn't stop anything. You watch porn, don't you? Yeah, but I don't, I don't know how I think you definitely do from how you said it. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I watch porn. I love it. They, but yeah, but what I'm saying is, why would that make you not want to fall in love with a person because it, something it they don't? Has to take a while. You've done a lot of stuff, I'm first, sure, right. in like, your he's life. She, it's still because a human, perfect. a person he's is still, they still love, over there. People they're still perfect. sweet, why they're do, still... Why can't you understand it's that? It's going to take a while. It's not, it's not perfect. It's not, not going to happen immediately. immediately. But so would you think that, I mean, you didn't think that the person never had sex before, before you. It's just that it's it's in public and you saw it. Everybody exactly. saw it. So what would what would change the difference if you was dating them? You just that right. I mean your ego is it's not tripping. high That's enough then. I then that you wouldn't even much be high enough to date her because your ego would be so small. Right there. Some kind of way I all feel like she of went off on your African ass. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, all right, I'm all right, just you know. All right, speaking of egos, Trina, what's your best version of yourself? Like if you if you could control everything about yourself. Who would, who would you be? Like, what what would you be like? What, what what's that? What's the perfect change? Jeez, mm, that's the first. Um. That one in Vibe Squad. <laughs> that would not be. Sorry, that would be the last version. <laughs> I'll tell you that now. I'll Do you that mean like attitude-wise, personality? Everything. As I, I, I give you an example, as I gotten older, uh -huh. right? You look back on your twenties and thirties, mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm. say, "Wait a minute, I probably wouldn't have done it like that." Uh huh. So now I think, at least moving forward, uh -huh. I kind of understand who I want to be, Got it. what I stand for. So you're asking me what, 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 what yeah, who, who, how would who, I like, be? Who are you? Who's, who's, what's your legacy? Like when, when people st think of you later on in life, what do you want them to remember? About you? I'm just a great person, realistically. I mean, I don't really look back at anything I've done and be like, oh, I would, wish I hadn't done it. Because I think it makes you grow into the person that you are. You know, I look at some things and I'm like, what was I thinking? Why did I do that? Why did I do this photo? Why did I say that? But I think as a human, you're allowed to do that. I think if you don't do those kind of things, then you just like bored, lame, and you have no fun, no personality. I think I would just be the same. I would just be better than I was 10 years ago. Because I'm more focused than I was 10 years. 10 years ago, I didn't. I just do whatever I was getting. You just make money. You just have fun. You just live your life. You have no regrets. You just like, you just, life is just everything. But then when you grow and you become more mature, more wiser, you take control of your business and you understand this is the life you live, then you have to put things a little bit more in perspective. You can't really wow out and do the things that you did 10 years ago opposed to now. You could just, you know, I think everything control is it. by stage. Yeah, you know, everything is stages. like stage by stage. So. so you you wouldn't undo. No, you that would be boring. You have to have no, you have, all those have moments, the silly times, the fun times, getting caught, having sex with your, by your parents or your friends, or just doing running up the hill naked. Like fun stuff makes you look back at your life like, wow, I lived such a great life. Naked? Huh? You ran up the hill. Naked? I have. It was a daring thing with me and my friends, so they dared me to do it. I jumped out of the car and did it. Oh my gosh! But it was it was it fun. fun. Every I time I go that. to the mountains, I think about that moment. Right. I had fun. fun. 
What, what, about, about, what about if what I about dare you? you to run around right through here naked? Right That's here. the different in stages. That's I've grown. I won't do that it. now. I did it then now, because so not gonna my friends <laughs> dared me, and it was like silly. We had fun, and I was like, oh, nobody will see. Right. Somebody <laughs> saw a car came. I was so embarrassed. Right. But it was fun. What about you, Rosa? Well, I think... Um, I will, the best version of me is still this one, you know, like, um, I don't, I don't think, um, I think every time, um, uh, I look at myself and I see that there's something about my personality, uh, or my character that it, it hurts others or somehow it hurts myself. I try to change it. Uh, or I try to work on it. You know, I don't think I have perf uh, perfect everything that I, I, it's not like nice about myself, but at least I work on it every day. And that's, that's the only thing I can do, you know? I wish I had a smaller dick. My dick too big. Like seriously, I have, I sit on the toilet, my dick gets wet. I mean, it's not a problem, dick problems, man. I wish I had a smaller dick that way I could, you know. <laughs> but nah, and you know, as long as I die and they say Mike was funny, you know, that's all that matters. I mean, you know, we think about Richard Pryor, rest in peace, you know, and we just remember him as a funny yeah. person. He was the funniest. Mm -hmm. I just remember him as crazy funny mother sucker. Let me ask you a question. That's good. Because that's my next question. What's your favorite Richard Pryor joke? Do you have one? Yeah. You know what? I, when I came to America, I didn't get to see Richard. <laughs> I, I wasn't, you know, I came and Eddie Murphy was the man at that time. But, you know, as I was told by other comics that, you know, Richard was great. And I, you know, I tried watching some of his stuff. Um, I know I saw the Sunset Strip and I saw the special he did in New Orleans. And I don't really remember too much of his stuff. I didn't really right. study him as who, much. But who, who do you think is the greatest comedian ever? From, from what I've from seen, what you know, seen, greatest of all time? Wow. That's, mm -hmm. that's. That's a hard one. Yeah. That's, hard. that's really hard. That's, that's you know, it's not like basketball where you can say Michael Jordan. Right. You right. know, I mean, I could name a few that I have to narrow it down and I got to do maybe like, your a, favorite. like a bracket. From who, I, I mean, when I came, I saw Eddie Murphy and I like, you know, I started watching yeah. him and I studied Eddie more. And I, you know, from like his movies to come to America and like, you know, raw and delirious, you know, and yeah. I know Eddie more than I know Richard, but. Richard has been known as a legend. I mean, exactly. who would you pick, Richard or Eddie? I would say because I'm more familiar <laughs> with uh, Eddie and right. I understood his uh, angle more. Like Richard, he went, he grew up in a, uh, a drug stage and he knew about that and, and all that. I didn't, I knew about, um, you know, not having much. The stuff Eddie was talking about, mm -hmm. I could relate to more. So yeah, that's why I would okay. choose that's him. Trainer. That's it. I'm going to ask everybody, kings of comedy, <laughs> did you ever see it live? I saw never it? saw it live. You saw it in the movie? Yeah. Have you ever seen it? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> oh, you knew who they are? Right, dude. You heard it, you heard it. Uh, right. Did, you, did I heard of what? You heard of Steve Harvey? <laughs> Duh. You, what, what, what comes to mind? She's too busy running right? around naked. Of Kings of Comedy? <laughs> of heels. Kings of Comedy is just hilarious to me. I, I love Queens of Comedy, honestly, okay. more because I, I'm like a Samore fan. Okay. But I love Kings. Of, I love King of Comedy because I just like I like funny stuff, and I think the comedians are hilarious. Everybody have their own unique style, their own certain jokes that get you cracking up, and the way they do it is everybody, each individual's own personality. That's what I like. That is so different. That's good. Okay. I like, uh, especially because <laughs> I'm Spanish. Not because I'm Spanish, but um, uh, Latin Kings of Comedy. You know, George Lopez is my favorite. You love George But I love Monique as well. Oh, Did you do that? Monique. Latin Kings? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You got okay. to get your wow. research. Yes, yes What's baby. Going on? You don't know that. Oh, I'll do the Chinese Cut. 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 Somebody Hold bring on. them a computer and Google uh, uh, Walter Latham Entertainment. Thank you. You see Kings of Comedy? Queens of Comedy? No. None of them? No. You know any Queens? Are any kings? <laughs> you have kings in your village and uh, Dominican. Well, no, I know don't. you. I hear that you're like some type of prince, prince or something yes. over there. Princess Zumba. Well, Princess Zumba. Oh, so, okay. okay. So, so move away from the movies. Everybody has, and you all have heard it probably, a crazy uncle. <laughs> right. Who's your crazy uncle? Uh, <laughs> Um, I, I would say, the name? You don't have to say his name, oh. but just to talk about who, he, who is he, like what does he do? I, my what mom's brother, he's just like, 
60 something year old guy that still lives at my grandmother's house just very crazy comes to like your party just out of nowhere just looking ridic and just he's not even funny he just comes and just do stuff and you're like i know my uncle did not show right. up at this party <laughs> just looking all crazy standing on the corner just crazy but he's like a funny guy he's a nice guy but he's an older guy so we always laugh at him i know that's probably not a good thing but it's hilarious well it's more so uh sometimes they come in different forms this is my sister my sister that's <laughs> off the chain off the chain, she got more money tattooed on her neck. Oh my god, and she owed me $20 sitting there. <laughs> Straight up, she is hilarious. And uh, you know, she come in, keep the family uh going. She's you know, somebody they got their own situations and what they go through, but they still the life of the party. You can't live yeah. without them, and that's what it is. What about you, Rose? I don't have a crazy uncle, but my dad is freaking crazy like crazy, really crazy. Um. You gave some help. <laughs> so, um, he's just uh, kind of like a smart ass, not, but he made everybody think that he was crazy. Um, back in the day, he wanted to retire really early, so the only way you can retire is if you prove that you are, you know, you have a health condition that won't uh -huh. allow you to work. And since he couldn't prove that, the next step was to prove that he was crazy. So, so one day they called my mom, like, your husband is butt naked doing gymnastics <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the streets. And then and, and now he's retired. He's retired. Florida. He's been retired for <laughs> almost 30 that's, that's, years. That's funny. Right. I don't know if you guys saw the news recently. You were talking about butt naked in the street. The guy who made the, the Cooney video. Oh, yeah. Was, he was, was caught, caught masturbating. Walking around butt naked in the Cooney or no. Cooney? Cooney. 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 So that why is true. He was why he was masturbating? Why was I mean? Was he it all? He's everybody watching this video right. on the news. You say he was masturbating, you or just but yeah, they say that he was um, uh, masturbating and acting reckless. I think, but he was naked. But they have the video. The they have video of it. In the street. I think right. he just want to get attention. After the, yeah. after got enough with the Coney video with more attention he needs. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> I think he wants more attention. I think so his, he his legacy to is to go out with the bang, like. I'm going to gain the attention of the right. world. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to be talking about my moment. I think that's what it is he's looking for. By and choking your chicken? That that's a problem with people. We always judge people on the uh, lesser valued issue. Mm -hmm. Like what he did, the Connie movement or whatever, it's bigger Coney. than. Coney. Coney is bigger I don't know him, but it's jacking off Coney. in the middle of the street. That ain't nothing. I done did stuff that's ridiculous. <laughs> in and the I'm street? still uh, dealing with comedy after dark. <laughs> I'm about to blow up. I'm going to make $20 million. And I'm quite sure they're going to uh, find out something about me in a car with somebody that just turned 18. Oh, <laughs> ouch. Well, nice. I gave it to her for her birthday. Who was your favorite president ever? Obama. I think Obama. Yeah, definitely Obama. He used to go skate. I only been here six years, so <laughs> Obama. Okay. Obama. Not Clinton. Nobody said Clinton. Damn. Right. Is, it, is, it, is it because Obama he's black because he's better? He's black. I'm racist. I just think he's better. He's more cool. He's more realistic to the young generation. Yeah. We get it. I mean, as a person, when you look at the president, you look at politics, like in school, you don't really care what's going on in the world. You don't really care about that stuff. You want to have fun party. But then when Obama came into the chair, right. he speaks to the people to where you kind of, let me hear what he's saying. He's, he's like, you can yeah. understand. He's, he's like, like, never like, the rest some, of like us. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's yeah. like talking to one of your friends. Exactly. You really could feel what he's saying. And he makes you pay attention. And unlike Clinton, he was faithful. Right. And he do regular, <laughs> cool ass African American like chill stuff. At the I saw him running game. up to the steps of Air Force One, and I saw him thump a cigarette before it was the dopey. I said, "That's a cold month." <laughs> Plus, I love him because he got a green yeah, card. Right before I love he went that. on the airplane, he hit <laughs> and thumped that. He's said, the first African president month. of the United States. He's, he's not really yeah, American. I love, I love him. Will really he win again? Oh yeah, he'll yes, win. He'll win. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. There's he'll no he'll competition. Win. Yes, he'll win again. We're gonna see to that. We're gonna get out party, and make sure. They're not even having uh, uh, competition. I think he like should just remain a president me. forever. If you ask me, I don't <laughs> right. think I we think need we to go through that whole that you can vote and poke and just do it and just let him just stay. Right, Things yeah. will get so much better. Let me ask you a question. You think before he became president, or even now, what do you think his, his favorite card game is? His think he plays space. Definitely, I think he can play space. Do you know? 
Space. I mean, you think the president played cards? That's how he started smoking yeah, cigarettes. Well, <laughs> I, mean, I know this motherfucker ain't finna cut me. <laughs> 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 Damn, this motherfucker. I know he got the aces. Like, that doesn't make anybody he's smoke so cool that's looking. about to get set. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you think he's like? Obama's like when he's not on TV. Oh man. That's what I always wanted. That's the White House. What do you I, think he's like? I just think he's super cool. Like I could just see him just chilling, not dressed up in his suit. Man. Just on a regular, just like with his family or just like having a conversation and he's still a cool guy. Yeah. He keeps it so cool. It's not it's not too serious, except when he's speaking. So I definitely think he would be a cool I, guy. I man. see him more like watching TV, right. smoking some weed. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> Yo, my nigga. <laughs> you know? Oh, I'm like God. everybody. I can see Hey, I didn't say that. Right now, yeah, you, you said it. Y'all you know, do the what same you, things bro? we do. What do you think? <laughs> I think he's like cool, down to earth, probably yeah. playing with his kids and just enjoying like a right, little I'm bit gonna, of his right. life. I'm going to put this out there, okay? Okay. How do you think he is? How do you think he is? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> How do you think he is in the sack? How do you think he is? What, what kind of guy? Are you? I mean, you're not sleeping with him, so we're just talking. What kind of guy do you think he is? Uh, well, I'm not sleeping with him, right. with him yet. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Obama um, have you on that You don't give Tiger with no ass, but you give the... Um, <laughs> uh, Obama? Obama? Yeah. Of course. Obama I mean, have big, uh, big Abraham Lincoln old ass big. I want to hear what she has to say. Michelle, we'll fuck you up. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> She's my girl. She's my home girl. Um, <laughs> I think that he's nice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to sound disrespectful now. Um, but I, I guess... guess it's, it's comedy after dark. It's comedy. Right, it's comedy after dark. Comedy it's midnight. He's asleep. I think he's the license. man. <laughs> if he asks you to pledge allegiance <laughs> to the flag... What, what was the question? Because they lost me already. <laughs> How is Obama uh, what like that? What do you that? think Obama's like in, in the bedroom? Pledge allegiance to the flag. Man. I think he's kind of slow. Think he, yeah. Is he, is he, is he, I don't know if it's because the way we look at him in TV and, you know, like. You mean still uh, like what? Like do it like a, like a turtle? Kind of? No, maybe Small like. like a turtle. I don't know. <laughs> like really like maybe like one that. and that's it. Knocked out. <laughs> I don't know. What about you? I mean, two kids, a yeah, wife for that many it. years, I think he's definitely right. putting it down. Come I think on now, he's Michelle definitely ain't good. No, uh, yeah, honestly. but it might change yeah. if he's with another girl, it right? Different than Michelle. It Maybe don't like wild and. Michelle used to be hood. <laughs> wow. Michelle you know used I mean? to be hood. She taught that boy some things. I think That's so. What it is. Yeah, yeah what but after you... all those years, it's like cousins, you know? It's like... <laughs> oh, so no. the, the future of technology obviously is changing rapidly. We were doing a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Everybody had a iPad or phone, right. plus the photographer. Do you use all those devices in your day-to-day -day life? I use my iPad, I use my phone. Like I don't do nothing without my phone. I think it's like so addictive. And it's really bad because we have this thing with me and my friends now that when we go out to dinner, nobody's allowed to use their phone because everybody is sitting there on their phone. It's become like a horrible thing. I think it it's, it's really addictive. It's I gotta technology. say this, and this is very honest. Like I, I was gonna go to the psychologist or psych, psych whatever, psychiatra in my country, because I'm, I'm too attached to my cell phone and I go to sleep and I gotta be on my phone. Like it's like every single day, I can never be without my phone. Like right now I was thinking about my cell phone, like <laughs> yeah. who has, he has my cell phone. <laughs> like yeah. What, you what do you be doing? Yeah, that's what you have to what you be doing. Like Facebook, Twitter. That's because y'all run your Yeah, do you text in Spanish? Everything? Yeah. Bro, Spanish, Spanish, English. English. You text in Spanish? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm coming out with. I was just studying that. I think I'm going to come out with a, a, a translate app. Uh, it's an addiction, <laughs> like seriously. That's what I'm saying. What about you, Rose? I would love to talk to you. I do use my stuff, um, and I try to just leave it at useful and not so much uh, addictive. So, you know, I use my GPS to not get uh, lost, and I use my phone to do whatever I, I, I have to do. But I do try to, like, I, I think when I'm, like, when I go out with my friends or, I don't know, when I'm with my family, I. I don't think I, I'm all the time on my phone, unless there's a situation going on, I'm going back and forth for something about work or something like that. Other all than right that, I, I try to have it 
under control. But I, 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 it's useful. I, I use technology. everything that I that I can in there. Yeah, it definitely makes you so, dumb. So, so all that technology. It, it takes away it from does. your memory and everything. It does. You don't know your auntie's you number. You can get locked up, exactly. and they say you can use the phone. You'll be like, I don't know why. I don't know a damn number to call. <laughs> Can I use my phone? Everybody who got locked up now is like, can I use my phone for y'all lock me up? Now I'll put the phone up. How the hell I'm going to get bond money? You'll be in here the Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mike, talking about GPS and getting lost. Why is it when people get lost, they turn the music down in the car? I don't know why the fuck. That's a damn good question. <laughs> I guess you need to just concentrate. I don't know. Yeah, you need to know. focus. You I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. If I'm lost and I'm in the car, everything cuts off the music. Everybody shut up because then I get frustrated and I need to know where I'm going. I start feeling like dumb. So I think that's just a part of like trying to like get your thoughts together. Okay. Yeah. I try to reach it down agree? when I'm having sex. Oh, I just tweet all the time. Turn it down. I'm trying to hear all she got to say about daddy. <laughs> yeah, go to the daddy. <laughs> y'all don't want to. Y'all know you need, need to hear on, this. You need the music on. Yeah. You don't want to hear the person. I hear you. I need to hear the music too. The music. You're not really well, what's, what's interested in the person. Then I need to hear the person. I need, need to hear, to hear these lies. Like all oh, you Because men make my... like the most disgusting, ugliest sounds. Women are sexy. The no boys do that. No men do that. I'm very conscious of what I'm doing at all times. What's your best sound? How do you sound? Yeah. I don't. I don't do sounds. I do questions, so it won't be no interference. <laughs> I say I'm. I'm gone with it. I say take this dick. <laughs> you know this dick yours. Say it ain't. That's what you say. I say you all retarded. <laughs> I, I, I lead questions in. You ain't ever had no dick like this. <laughs> no, oh I just give one question answers. You know, look at her, she moving her. And yeah. like, and she's she moving the arm for her. Like, Tell she, me more, Dad. Ask me more. Ask me more. She say that's what you say. And she'll be like, yeah, really? Right. I'm yeah, really. Where am I? Mm -hmm. Got to be. Not that good, Daddy. Right. Y'all acting like that's what's on. This comedy yeah. after dark. We are about uh -huh. to hit the country, all over the country, and this is after dark. But not that's before the question dark. you ask me. That's what, what I'm saying. I don't you, ask questions. You, you don't ask questions. I you give her the answers. Shut the fuck up. It's my, this is my pussy, right? Yes, it's mine. <laughs> Don't say nothing. Take this. Yes. Thank you. Get the fuck out. Good night. That has something to oh do with God. assault. Oh Your ass is That's going sick. directly to jail. Do not pass <laughs> gold. Do not collect 200. Who's <laughs> this African rape a man? <laughs> <laughs> That's, you just made that's me call rude. That's hard. Shut up. Give it to me. Don't say nothing. What's my name? Don't say my name. Say it again. Don't say nothing again. So what if she say Come somebody else's name? Go. Then what? Huh? What did she say? Someone else's name? I'd be name? Heather. Africa would be that's Heather. Why that's why you always got to say baby. She would you know, become so That's right. Make yeah. it a mistake. Oh, no. You always say baby. See, that's scary. My love. <laughs> my love. Poppy, poppy. I... Yeah, poppy is cool, I but my love, cool. that's got something to do with soap opera. I ain't got time for that shit. All right, one word answer. One word. One. One, Darius. Just <laughs> one word. I'm one word. I got right. it. You ready? Kim Kardashian. Amazing. Beautiful. Dreamy. Beautiful. Slut. Hater. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was <laughs> Okay. Tyler Perry. Continue. Tyler Perry. Talented. Um, Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nice, I guess. Uh, incredible. Hardworking. Rich. Rich motherfucker. <laughs> All right. If, if, if you're uncomfortable answering some of these, just don't answer and I'll move on, okay? Because I know some people are in the, in the industry. Right. Yeah. Okay. Like My Nick, career is always. Nick 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 Nick. Um, creative. It's a sentence or one word? One word. Oh, Nikki, I would say definitely creative. I don't like him. Witty. Unique. Weird. I don't like her. I don't okay. like her. Why was the royal wedding so important to Americans? Um, I think because it was the next biggest thing after Princess Diana and the United States wanted to be a part of it. Everybody wanted to see, everybody wanted to to feel like they were actually a part of it. And I mean, I think. I think it's, it's, it's uh, money, maybe, the government there and here with Obama, who knows what's going on there. To inspire the 
possibilities of a fairy tale love life. Because we are noisy here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the royal wedding, when uh, the prince and the big wedding, now she's a princess when they got married. Yeah. Why was it such, a, such an important event? America. Because we are noisy and we just like want to. Oh, we nosy. Yeah. yeah nosy. We want to know she about everything. Noisy. Got it. Okay. Who the fuck? Who are they? <laughs> What's their names? It's the Prince Edward. Kate. Kate. I never knew Kate. them. I didn't, Kate. Watch. I didn't watch it. Harry. I was Prince. tweeting. Harry is the one that's still single. Prince Charming. I don't know. William. 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 Prince Charming. He's waiting, he's waiting for me. <laughs> Would you want to be a princess? Would you marry Harry to be a princess? No. I will. Why not? Trina still got that street on. She ain't finna do nothing like that. Frozen. I get this money right, me and Trina up off this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but that's part, that's flat out what she like a man with a sense of humor. She loves dark complexion. She's never dated a community. Who no, said no, I no. love dark complexion? She, she like the more, See, no. that tells I'm it right there. Because usually when people uh, uh, hear what I'm they don't like. I'm just saying you're judging me. I'm not judging I love you. dark, dark complexion, but, but I'm just saying. Well, what a saying. coincidence. You think I ain't going yeah. shit? shit. Oh, oh, my God. You think I wore this bright shirt to highlight my darkness with nothing? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but I know we need to get this uh, comedy after dark going. I get me about 20 million, and then we can laugh. You like to laugh, you like to run up hills. We're gonna need a little more than 20 million, though. God, I'm damn. talking about to talk and hang oh, out. Damn, okay. I thought to I talk can't and kick hang it. Out. Damn, we can't <laughs> kick it. Mm. We're working you together. You put limits I'm, on the money now. I'm we need to saying. have it needs to be limitless. No. Well, at this point, I would like it to. I, I know I'm no longer interested. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> <all right. laughs> Walter Latham comedy. comedy.